good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm and I want to show you a little tip or trick or as young folks call it a hack on a hack hack on how to use uh, Wireshark and capture packets uh, when you want to capture packets through remote address and the IP address could be different or could be a range of addresses so let me show you exactly what I'm getting at I'm going to go to capture here I'm going to hit start and it won't take long at all you'll see packets fly up on the screen I'm just going to stop for a moment so the uh, packets that come back is a combination obviously of local traffic as you can see here 104410 10, same subnet and some remote traffic right and and this is kind of important to understand so when I want to capture just for example packets or traffic to the internet that would be remote traffic uh, when I want to capture local stuff then obviously it's local stuff so as far as Wireshark is concerned when we go to the internet we only talk to the MAC address of the router which is uh, pretty well right here and if I've just highlighted one of these remote packets obviously 209.85 200.189 and the MAC address is my router so what I'm going to do is create a capture filter for just that MAC address so I'm going to go to my address field I'm going to right click and uh, oh you won't see this very well because that menu just scrolled down to the bottom let me just reposition myself here here we go copy value and now you just copy that to your clipboard and if I go to capture options I'm going to create a filter ether host and I'm going to paste that MAC address in there and hit start so now all those 1044 addresses that I was speaking to are all gone now you see so just my remote stuff is going to be captured so I'm going to go back here to uh, YouTube for example just hit refresh and you can see all the quick stuff that came back. So this is a really neat easy way of capturing a bunch of packets to any remote address when you don't know the IP address or if there's a range of IP addresses. The other option people like to use is the subnet filter uh, or the nut, the net filter. That's another way of doing it but then again you'd have to know the subnet and this way anything remote gets captured. This also captures things on your network that you may not be able to speak to um, that aren't remote. So for example, I'm going to hit stop. This 10.99 10.2 is a, a printer that I had configured when I was at a customer site and it's trying to find it. It's not on my subnet so it obviously thinks it must be on the internet somewhere. So this is a great little way just to find out what your device is doing as well if you want to do a PC baseline or an application baseline. So there you go. There's a tip or a trick. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.